Kamun Kawakahi, everybody. Mahalo, mahalo. Mahalo for joining us today for Ahamele Ea. My name is Shanki Ko Pimitel with some of my best uh, ho aloha. Oh my gosh, we're so blessed to have them all here today, all from different mokupuni, but we're so, so happy to be here and share some of our favorite mele and um, celebrate Ea through, through mele. And so um, I'm going to turn it over to uh, uh, our good uh, ho all the way on the end over there, Mr. Kalehua Krug. Hey, aloha kako. Uh, mahalo to everybody for having us up here. Uh, and uh, for hoi hoi ea, I'm going to sing a song for you folks right now uh, that takes us on a voyage. Um, and the song is All Hawaii Stands Together. And it's also included of a name called Hawaii Loa. And he is one of our navigators. And so we are on a journey right now that as you do travel the oceans of uh, regaining our ea, we don't always see land. Uh, and those first voyagers of our people, they didn't see the islands with their eyes. They saw it with their na'o. They saw it in their, in their minds, in their hearts. And they knew it was there. And that's the journey that this song that was written by Liko Martin takes us on. Uh, sometimes it seems really hard to see, hard to grasp. Um, but reality is right around the corner. It's a song called All Hawaii Stands Together. As I travel from place to place, some familiar and some strange, to hear the ancient chantings of our home. As I listen to the story, my eyes have seen the glory. So let us raise our voice in song to save our land. Hawaii Loa, Hawaii Loa, Uli Te 
the mic with a, a very special tita of ours all the way over from Moku Keave. She joined us today. How's about a hand for the lovely Kainani Kahonele, everybody? Ay, aloha no kako. O ka umele o aloha aina o ya i'o. And that song was inspired by the continuous rising of our nation atop of Mauna Kea. And this song tells us to onipa'a, to hulia mahi, to work together. And we have so much work to do, and all the little things and the big things matter. And so I'd like to ask everybody who knows this mele uh, to sing along. Aloha aina oya i'o. As we work towards being better stewards of our land, to be true aloha aina of this place. So aloha aina oya i'o. Now we want to introduce our really good friend as well, Mr. Dwight Kanai, everybody. Aloha. Pai, pai, Aloha, everybody. Uh, this song, you know, we opened up our set with a great song written by uh, uh, Pendergrass, who uh, did uh, Kaulana Napua, but a friend of mine, good dear friend of mine named Peter Moon, did that arrangement. 
And um, I'd like to uh, honor Peter in this next song that he wrote with Ron Rocha, saying, um, hey, how about you? you know, I am Hawaiian. Song says, wherever we go, that's where we should be. We should be Hawaiian in our hearts, in our souls. Everything we do, everything we say, everything we eat, <laughs> everything should be Hawaiian. So, hey, how about you? Just love these guys over here. How's about a hand for this band? What a, what a, what an ensemble of all stars. I'm so fortunate. I feel so blessed right now. Whoo! Kanai, everybody. Mahalo, mahalo. And that's about a hand joining us on the base from the Makahasans as well, Mr. Hanale Kanapu, everybody. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mahalo. Well, I know we're running uh, tight on time, but um, before we go, I, I want to have uh, Uncle Moon Kawakahi do, do one more song for us. And um, any kind, any kind. But, you know, Uncle Moon has just been such a, a, a pillar in Hawaiian music for us for so many, many years. And he's, he's always the quiet guy, you know, believe it or not, he's the quiet guy in the group. He doesn't really say much, but he says so much to his mele, yeah? And, and just through his mana'o that he shares to his mele, um, we've learned so much. Um, I've learned res resistance through mele um, because of some, some of the songs that he's done with uh, Makasan's Miho over the many, many years. And so many of those songs have touched my lives and I know it's touched all of us. And, and really paved the way for uh, who we are today as musicians. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my favorite right there. <laughs> so I, I wanna actually uh, turn the, the mic over to him because he's, he's a man of very few words, but a man of many wise words. So um, how's about a hand for Uncle Moon Kaukahi, everybody? Aloha no. I do this song in honor of a very good musician as well uh, from the island of Hawaii, from 
Yokaha. And the song is written way back when, I'm not going to tell you what year, but yeah. Anyway, this song is in honor of him. And he was, I wouldn't say he was a person, he wasn't a person who stood out in the public. He was a common person. He stayed behind, he did what he did. So nobody actually knew who he was. And back then, and I thought, what a thing to do. You know, normally we write songs about prominent people, uh, people of notoriety, so on and so forth. What about people who just are themselves? So I wrote this song for him. It's called Kaleo Handa. For a common person. Once again, on behalf of us, Hui uh, Mele'e, we want to um, thank everybody for joining us this evening or this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Before we go, though, how's about a hand once again? Mr. Kalihua Krug, everybody. Aloha. Our lovely Tita, all the way from Okokiave, Kainani Kahonele. Aloha. Of course, on the color moon, Kawakahi, everybody. Aloha. On our far right over here, Mr. Hanale Kanapu. Aloha. And Mr. Dwight Kanai. Mahalo. Yes, Aloha. Yes, yes. Mr. Sean Pimentel. Mahalo. Our Mahalo. MC and leader of this group. Mahalo. 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 No, you guys, you guys lead me, bro. I'll follow you guys, yeah? We're going to leave you with this one last song. 
something that everybody's uh, familiar with. A phrase that's been used many times today, but should continue to be used daily uh, in our lives. Uh. A song written many years ago, 1978, but many of those words still, still follow true today. Uh. Recorded by the Macaw Sons of Niho.
Michael Mooney got to go. He got another gig. He got, a, got another gig. So we're going to unplug him. We're going to do one quick one. Yeah. Can, 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 can. Uncle Mooney, mahalo. How's about a hand again from Uncle Moon Koka here? Yeah, yeah. Mahalo, mahalo. Okay, hold on, Avivi. Oh, Lele, ke ia aloha. Aloha. Eka lahu ya me kamalei. Ka umo ke kumahine, my two girls. We're going to share with you, finish off a song that talks uh, about the land that our ancestors are buried. And here's a song called Kulaidi.
Ohana, Kaina Nikahona Ele, Shanti Mente Uncle Dwight Kanai, and our big brother, Hanalea. Mahalo, everybody, for joining us here. Make some noise if you're outside in the parking lot having a good time. Yeah, I hear you. How's that Tuahine blessing coming down? While we're changing it up, I'm going to take this opportunity real quick to share about a very important person that we're honoring this year. We celebrate two important aloha aina, tuahine, tukupuna, who have helped us to clear and to pioneer the path towards our independence and freedom. So here at Kalaho Iho Ea for several years, since the passing of Dr. Richard Kekuni Blaisdell, our generation has taken upon ourselves to honor Kupunas who have passed and honor Kupunas who continue to fight. And so today, for a few moments, I want to take a moment to briefly introduce you, if you haven't already known, of a very important Kupuna by the name of Auntie Marion Anderson Kelly. Very shortly, we're going to pre uh, we're gonna present a quick video by our friends at OEV TV. But for a moment, would you please give me your ears? Auntie Marion Kelly was a brilliant teacher tireless activist and a true example of Aloha Aina and genuine allyship. Marion was born in Honolulu to Thelma and William Greg Anderson and raised on the Wailua Sugar Plantation. In 1937, she graduated from Roosevelt with my Rough Riders, where she met her husband, John Kelly. Together they became warriors for justice in Hawaii. While not ethnically Hawaiian, she was an Aloha Aina. Marion graduated from the University of Hawaii Manoa in 1941. The young couple moved to New York City, where she studied in Columbia University, focusing on sustainable economies and cultures of indigenous peoples. This sparked her interest in early economic and agricultural models of the Hawaiian people. In 1956, her master's thesis, titled Changes in Land Tenure in Hawaii, worked to prove the actual depth complexities and brilliant sustainability of Hawaiian agricultural systems. And it refuted the ways Hawaiian social and economic systems had been depicted as flawed by Western scholars. Auntie Marin began a career at the Bishop Museum where she worked on many anthropological reports and archeological studies in various places across Pohawai Pai Aina and throughout Oceania. She didn't just write reports and articles, she used this knowledge to fight for the protection of Aina from Lumaha'i on Kauai to Kau on Hawaii. Auntie Marion fiercely supported protectors of these places and she and shed light on the indigenous Po'e Hawaii, who she stewarded these islands. The museum fired her, however, for more than 25 years of service because she refuted to minimize the cultural importance of lands and to buckle to developers who preferred half-truths over cover-ups that could grease the wheels on construction projects. She took a stand. In addition to her professional work, Auntie Marion was a steadfast activist who created, led, and supported many organizations working to bring justice to people and Aina. In 1964, Auntie Marion and Uncle John co-founded Save Our Surf to protect Hawaii's coastlines from overdevelopment and foreign industries. All our Sandy's uh, rats out there, you guys owe a special mahalo to this group. According to Ed Grevy, it was Marion that politicized the man, John. He was crazy about her. She was doing work with the Ilbu, Save Our Surf, organized against evictions at San Island, Mokawea, Chinatown, Waiahole, Waikane, and Kaivi, among, among many other struggles. They worked alongside revolutionary groups fighting for the protection of Hawaii and the liberation of Kapo'e Hawaii, who had had enough of US military occupation. From humble rallies to massive achievements like ending plans of high-rise hotels directly on the reef at Ala Moana, their work can be seen throughout Hawaii today. While continuing her anthropological work across the islands, Auntie Marion also began teaching at the University of Hawaii in the mid-60s. She became a driving force in the creation of Ethnic Studies Department at the University of Hawaii Manoa working alongside other radical change-seeking educators, known by her colleagues and students as a staunch champion of peace and justice for all humanity. Auntie Marion was changed the lives of many she mentioned and taught. 
and to Marion continued as a professor of ethnic studies until she retired at the age of 81. Through her work, dedication, aloha, and strength, and to Marion has changed our understanding of Hawaiian history. She laid the foundation for understanding how traditional Hawaiian land systems work. She supported Kiai, Mahi'ai, and Lavai'a. She spoke out against state and corporate efforts to co-op Kanaka and settlers. She reminded us we are brilliant and we are powerful and we continue to breathe life into the memories she uncovered. It is with great humility, it is a great affection that we present a short clip by OEV TV to honor the life and contribution of Marion Anderson Kelly. Aloha kako. Pai pai lima. Meke kau maha lulu umako e ku kalana no kahala ana o kaloea huli kanaka o Marion Kelly. E ku ana oya makamaka o ka ihe makona imi e hai ia kumo au kala o kei aina mai ke ku ana ike o kona poe. A ma ke kahi kula nui e nele ana ike ena havina havai mai e wā. Marion Kelly was an advocate for Native Hawaiian people. She was an advocate for Native Hawaiian knowledge uh, and the documentation of our people's history. Makona hala ana wa vaiho ke yaloea huli kanaka i pu'u ike havai i vai vai lua ole. E kumu ana kunu yoko kako ike no ka ike ku una malama aina, makana ino iai. She best was able to first articulate what were those traditional principles that were adopted at the time of the Mahele and which guided Hawaiian land management practices and then how to translate that into modern times. E ao ana o Marian ma ke kula nui o hawa i mama no ano ke kana kolua o i makahiki o Deviana ke kahi o kana ma uho polopeka. Marian was very important in standing by our Hawaiian communities and making her knowledge available to the community to document their claims. Ila ana wa pa ya ya na mo olalo na kupuna me na pilina kuuna i ke awava o makua i me a ko kua i na hana una ho makapai o eho iho i kolako aina o hana. To me, she was, you know, a role model of a scholar and an activist. Wa ho maka o Marian ma ke kula nui mana kana hiku he va nui o kololi mahawai inei e ki peku iana kapo e mai ka aina aku a e ku kulu iana na ho kelle a hale. Wa ike o ia me kana kane o John Kelly na lau o iho okumu i hui aloha aina i kapa ia o Save Our Surf. She was a woman of principle, a very strong principle, and you always know that you know what she stood for. She truly believed in, and she believed that that was just and, and the truth. He kua na ike ke ya pai pai ana ya Mary ne ho kumu ike ana ma ke kula nui o ya ke kahua ona papa hana hawai i o ke kula nui ke ya wa. I think she herself thought that her role in establishing the Ethnic Studies Department as a permanent department here at UH Manoa was one of her lasting legacies. E mauana no ka hua o kāna i kuupau Māori ai. Ua hala o Marian Kelly i ke lāpo ali māku nei mā kona hale mā mauna lua. He kana i vuku mā lua o nā makahiki. A i keia a ole i paa he lā no ko o lewa. How's it? Totally meant to do that. Kalamai. Huh. I've seen visions in forked roads of indecision. Pinpoint precision, figuring everything that it isn't. I've been 
Missing a mark without a candle to spark The dents of the dark The harder to figure out where to start So forget a heart Or you might get shred apart So I wear it on my arm Next to the chip on my shoulder It's never over I'm older The world is getting colder Just a soldier against all odds I'm screaming to the gods in the heavens Someone save me Send me to the grave blame free From the reasons that they hate me And just as soon as all them words leave my mouth I realize the hardest way just might be the only way out Easy for me at least cause that's the way I was raised When the going gets tough, only the tough get paid Getting caked off the toughest of ways Giving praises for the roads that though the brothers it paved So bump a hand out, hover in a we self-made The people make it possible for all the words I get to say so let come what may, cause at the end of the day, we still blessing up, giving thanks and praise to all my brothers. Swim good. Swim good. Mm. So lonely mother pains for nine months. Joy in return to nothing's ever the same until your time's up. From by you'll learn with every season turns. It turns, let it turn away from me. Cause I can't tell which way is up and which is down. Only want the things I've earned. I'm sure that tomorrow's not deserved. So I live today like a king without his crown. Yay. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I said some days you know when it's coming And other times you have to wait But every day the push and pull the up and down So powerful gets almost too unbearable to take so free your mind and live your livelihood alive Behold the confused beauty and decide to live your life yeah. mm, whoa, oh, 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 yeah. ah, I knew this girl who fell in a hole so little pieces of a soul to any man with some dough I sat back, I kept telling her no But no job and three kids kept telling her go That's what she knows So she did what she had to do Did she really have to ask yourself Sad but true Cause life can question mark if we are really true people Do you quit that's it or choose the lesser two evils Are oh, you the type to run up out the kitchen when it's hot the times of wrong decisions the only one you got So don't be so quick at the lip to go and call her That could be a little sister out there walking a the strip Or relative to the ish that you face in a day Separates the ish you do from the ish you say So bump a hand out, hover in a we self-made The people make it possible for the words I get to say So let come what may At the end of the day, we still blessing up, giving thanks And praise the on my sister swim good to all my sisters swim good How's it? My name is Big Mox Jonah Jackson Thank you for having me Be part of this celebration uh, More contemporary approach If you will I definitely uh, Discovered my identity and culture through the vehicle of hip hop. So uh, bear with these bars with me one time. Seeds conceived in a city of sin and obscurity Born with a number that ensures social security to masses Need hurting and cleansing of their impurities White America needs to save these lava monkeys, hurry please Give them diseases and beliefs that are poison their mind Take away their leaders and leave them receiving guns and money You can read them and weep them 
Void the voices of reason, the organizer design, avoid and assign a treaty, self-defeating, colonized bastards, don't know what the Breeding problems, not solutions, while pollutions exploiting the tides, and instead of joining voices, the rise, we stay beefing over stupid ish. In the same boat, the same boat, we all in the same boat, same boat, same boat, ah, we all in the same. I said, woo! Win some, lose some, what's the outcome of chasing income? It's dumb, consume it all so the kids get none. Product of the system means the system won. Third I was, I show proof of pride. Dirty boots, plus I know my roots. Revolution lies in the truth of mine. It doesn't run in high when they shoot. Wall up! Babylon trying to steal me so and so untouchable saying, bump the pole with too much construction on a country road. Brought in spacious the way the destruction goes. So lordy, lordy, let me sing my song. Let me sing my song. I said, lordy, lordy, let me sing my song. Let me sing my song. I said, lordy, lordy, let me sing my song. We all in the same boat, same boat. Ah, we all in the same boat, yeah, same boat, same boat. Oh, we all in the. Let me try that again. I said, win some. Lose some, what's the outcome of chasing income? It's dumb, consume it all so the kids get none. Product of the system means the system won. Third eye wise, I show proof of pride. Dirty blue, says I know my bruise. Revolution lies in the truth of mine. Doesn't run in high when they shoot. Wall up, Babylon trying to steal me soul. Feeling untouchable, saying pump the pole with too much construction on the country road. Brought a spacious though with the destruction go. So, Lordy, Lordy, let me sing my song. Let me sing my song. Say, Lordy, Lordy, let me sing my song. Never leave me roaming for long. Nah. Yeah, we all in the same. Yeah. Can I get a hot hole, la hooey? Can I get a hot hole? Thank you, thank you. Yes. I got one more, if you don't mind. All right. Let's just. Bring some vibes. There's still choke mana on stage because of what we just had. Yes? Woo! Where does the time go? Where will it end? Feels like I'm walking down this road for a while, my friend. The more I tend to lie, the more I tend to suffer. It's not the same. When the years going by, it's not the same. When there's tears in your eyes, it's not the same. When the boy ain't got no home, wind and the rain till it shot you down to the bone. It's not the same, no, no, it's not the same, no, no, shouldn't have left you darling, I know that now, seems like the only point that you take is the way down The morning changed to night Or I tend to suffer It's not the same When the years going by it's not the same when there's tears in your eyes. It's not the same when the boy ain't got no home. Wind 
than the rain till it shot you down to the bone. Give love, give love, give love. Yeah. Thank you, folks, again. Once again, Vai Vai Collective, as well as our La Hui near and far. How about a big round of applause for Big Mox? Yes. Once again, we're here celebrating the month of July, Kala Ho'i Ho'i'ea, Hawaiian Sovereignty Restoration. We're very happy, we're very proud to share um, this space. And we want to say just a couple of mahalos while we have some time. Uh, first and foremost, we want to thank some of our uh, sponsors today here. We want to mahalo first and foremost, Vai Vai. How about a big round of applause for Vai Vai Collective for years and years holding it down, Brother Keone over there. Make sure you go over there and tip. Make sure you tip, huh? Don't just drink. We also want to say big mahalo to Mickey Hui Hui, checking you in, making sure everybody is safe, but specifically from our good friends at Hawaii's People Fund. Big round of applause for Hawaii People's Fund. They've been supporting us for many, many years. Uh, we also want to say special mahalo to Hiva Van and her Ohana Tanner in the house, Nakia'i, um, who is an establishment of Uncle Palani Vaughn, everybody. Yeah! Uncle Palani, the most beautiful Hawaiian I've ever seen. We also want to say mahalo to some of our volunteers who are outside taking care. Ladies in red, halau kalehua tuahine. Aren't they so beautiful, everybody? Thank you. Olapas alakais for showing up and holding it down. We want to say mahalo to Auntie Vicky Ho Takamine as well as the Pa'i Foundation for their generous sponsorship of our music. You guys enjoying yourself? You guys enjoying the music? All right. We also want to thank um, Kelly Grace who's over here bringing this music, this sound, um, to the interwebs and all around the world so that people can enjoy. Please big round of applause for Kelly Grace. <laughs> Wanna mahalo also Sean Pimentel who is up here. Um, and Upena Production, give a big round of applause, Keololu. We also wanna say mahalo to Coops Entertainment. We have a couple of prizes we wanna give away later on this evening from Fitted Hawaii. They dropped a whole bunch of gear on top of us, so I hope you guys remember your mo olelo because we'll be giving away some prizes very shortly. Hey, we also want to mahalo one of our former students who brought in the delicious and delectable Hawaii's only lobster corn dog. Me neither, I haven't heard it, but I'm waiting to go eat it. I kind of wait. Maybe save me one. Okay, but big mahalo to that. And also, our guys in the security parking lot, being friendly, our Pico Ohana over there. Um, next up, gang, we're to keep the ball rolling. Uh, I'm very happy, I'm very pleased uh, to say that I was able to share the stage with um, this ohana um, here. Um, I have relationships. One of them is a very important kumu uh, of mine and many of ours uh, out in cyberspace as well too. So we have a lot of aloha, um, not just uh, for the intellect and for the, the wisdom and for the amazing storytelling um, that helped to really reconscientize us as a people to help us understand our history, to help us understand our struggle, as well as our commitment to liberation. Um, of course, I'm talking about none other uh, than John Osorio, professor, PhD. <laughs> Not to be outdone. Uh, we also have uh, a very uh, special guest of ours here today who's gonna be presenting. Um, Heoli Osorio, brand new Makua. Very yeah. excited for that. Just got a brand new uh, shiny engagement ring as well, too. <laughs> How about a Pai Pai Lima Kako? It happened on the Mauna. I was there. I saw it. I saw it. I knew there was something going on. Oh, I never like saying that. No, you I knew before say. Malia. <laughs> I try to say focus. And I shishi my pants. Um, I want to say mahalo again to Duncan for making this uh, together as well too, for joining us, for bringing the Ohana here today. Without further ado, I want to give them as much time as you have. So once again, thank you for joining us here at Aha Mele Ea 2021 in celebration of Kala Ho'i Ho'i Ea. about a big round of applause everybody here at Kavai and around the world. The Ozorio Ohana. 
Hallelujah. Uh, it's so good to be here again after not being here last year or for a few years. Um, I'm, I'm really, really pleased to be able to see the Aloha Aina again and to see your faces. Um, on this day, for so many years, we, get, we got to hear Baron tell the story of the restoration of our national uh, sovereignty, of our national government in 1843 when the British changed their minds about keeping us. They must have thought we were just, you know, too much trouble, too much pilikia for those guys. And they gave us, they returned to us the ability to give, govern ourselves. And I wanted to say a few words about this day and about memory to all of you because what our chiefs, what Kawikia Uli, what Timothy Ha'alilio, what William Richards and others did back in 1843 was to create, create a government and to get the recognition of large and powerful countries as a way of giving us a respite, right? A, a time where we could build our Lahui again because our people had gone through a horrific depopulation. The, the, the days of Kamehameha, um, the, the conqueror, were gone. The armies gone. The navy gone. And we were a vulnerable country surrounded by threatening and greedy peoples. And they gave us the ability for a few decades to build our country again. And they fought for that. And over the decades, our people came together to struggle and fight again and again and again. Sometimes we didn't fight on the same side, our own people. People who supported Kalakaua, people who supported Emma. And they fought in the streets in 1874 to see their side prevail. But then we saw our Lahui come together again um, in the 1890s to protest the overthrow and to protest the annexation of Hawaii by the United States. And as we all know, and everyone should know this, we succeeded. The United States did not annex us. I don't know what they did. I don't know what they think they did. But they did not legally annex us. Our people have done this over and over again. Um, in, in the 1960s coming together uh, to support the creation of ethnic studies. And you heard the story that was told about Marion Kelly. And it's a true story. She was a warrior for our people. In the 1970s, George Helm, Kimo Mitchell, um, so many other Aloha Aina, Kavai Puna Prajin, and others, many who have passed on fighting to save Kaho'olawe from the U.S. Navy. And we have fought again for the restoration of our government in, 18, in 1993, the observation of the hundred years since that overthrow. We also fought each other, haven't we? We have struggled against each other to prevent federal recognition so that we could remember who we are. We have done those struggles again and again. And lately, the most incredible struggle of all, the successful struggle to prevent those rascals from building a telescope on our sacred mountain. I don't know how to tell you how important that struggle has been. And I just want to say before we begin our set today, that when we remember our, our kupuna, our elders, our aloha aina, who fought in their time and then passed on to Po. Let us remember that they didn't only struggle to stop something from happening. They struggled to keep our people together. They struggled to remind us that we are Hawaiian, that we are Kanaka, that we are Oivi, that we are a nation, that we are our own people. And I want to dedicate this time together with my son and my daughter, and Will, who I'm not related to, uh, unless... That's why he's the most talented. Yeah, but he's, yeah, <laughs> you can tell. Um, 
we want to, and we want to dedicate this to the memory of people who have gone. And we are going to dedicate specific songs to specific people, including our departed sister, Haunanike Tresk. But for now, um, Haoli and I are going to sing a song that we wrote together, along with uh, Elizabeth Soto, when our dear friend Teresia Teewa became ill in February of 1917, uh, in 19, 2017. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> He's a historian, so anything after yeah. like 1900s is lost I've on been him. Doing this. <laughs> and we wrote this song to celebrate this wahine. If you never heard Teresia speak, or never heard her poetry, or never saw her um, in action, let me just say that she was this incredible woman of Pacific Islander ancestry. Her father was from Fiji and Nauru. Her mother was an African-American from the United States. And she had the most brilliant poetry, the most brilliant voice. She taught undergraduates and graduate stu students in Aotearoa and in Fiji. Uh, she taught us. She wrote about the US military's destruction of Bikini and the Marshall Islands and their nuclear testing. She wrote about Fijian soldiers, Fijian men who fought for the British and whose, whose descendants continue to keep on that same military tradition, saying, brothers, we know what, what drives you to do this, but remember that you are our brothers. You are first Fijian. You do not belong to the empire. And people like this have reminded us over and over again <clears throat> that we are part of an ancestry that is glorious, that goes back thousands of years. We have voyaged on this ocean. We have sought and found all of these islands. We settled them. We, we lived in peace with one another. We grew, we prospered, and we will prosper again. Old men gaze to the horizon where the women see forever and the saw stories that their lives become are spoken by the gods. I have known you, Teresia, by your love for all your islands and I sing your name with gladness for the goddess you become. You have carried all these stories across the wildest oceans Reminding us that histories are long and deep and free I have heard you in a tale of hope We're better than our pleas this ocean And the ties, the senate ropes to tie us to our dreams. Oh, kaho, oh, kele, kele, tere siate aiwa, i kamo kulele au i ike ai. Tiera nuestra tere sia in this wondrous sea that greets us. I will see you, tere sia, by and by. O oh, guardian of this ocean, our grand Moana Nui, mother, sister, auntie, who shoulders all our fears, who writes the songs and psalms and words that carry rising tides. We hold them in the baskets you showed us how to tie. In this wondrous sea that greets us, I will see you, Teresia, by and by. Toward the distant way that beckons us To search and to discover You 
set your faith and joyful voice to sing your people's praise. And they know you, Teresia, in a thousand ancient languages, live long the Aumakua of the poet and the sage. Oh, come, oh, oh, kele, kele, Teresia, Teiwa, in this wondrous sea that greets us, I will see you, Teresia, by and by. I will see you, Teresia, by and by. Mahalo. Thank you very much. Mahalo. So one of the things that Teresia taught us, um, reminded us, is how we are not only a part of our Lahui, but we are also a part of the Lahui of this Moana, right? And that responsibility, that kuleana we have to that Ohana, to that Lahui. The relationships we have in Wananui Akea far precede the life of the kingdom. This is an older kind of kuleana, right? One that goes back to Po. One that commits us to fighting for the life and liberation of all of us who come from this Moana. Um, so this next song we're going to sing is a, an original song written by my father, Kumu Kanalu and Kumu John Lake. I don't know when it was written because I'm not a historian. It was written a long time ago. Um, but the song, Kahuli Nao, it talks about Hulihia. It talks about the time when we come together to fight injustice, about the time we come together to return to our mo'olalo. And the song is fast and it's fun and it's powerful, but it reminds us that Hulihia is uncomfortable. If you are comfortable, you are not doing Hulihia properly. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Pele like hulihia <laughs> some stuff, right? Um, it's not comfortable, it is hot, it is churning, it is chaotic. It will require more of you than you are willing to give. I'm gonna say that again, it will require more of you than you are willing to give. So we're gonna sing this song for the people fighting at the, the cutting edge of hulihia. The folks who have stormed the streets in, in protection and in aloha for black lives. For the folks who stood and said, I remember life matters. For the folks who first traveled to the summit of Mauna Awakea before thousands of us were willing to join them in the cold, in the rain, in the snow. That's what Hulihia is about. So we sing this song for you folks. May you soon be at the cutting edge of Hulihia too. Ha 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 
a o mo o la lo hanno hanno na ku ku na ka he ku i ka wai mo na o la na e o na ha wai i na na ku i ka pono i ne i a no ka huli a ue e ulu a e no e a o me ka i ke pu e o ma e ma na o la na me ka pono e e ki a ma na o i o i ke a la ho na 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 o ma ku a e a la ka i mai Nanao makua e ala ka i mai Nanao makua e ala ka i mai Nanao makua e ala ka i mai Nanao makua e Nanao makua e ala ka i mai Nanao makua e ala ka i mai Nanao makua e ala ka i mai Nanao makua e I know we promised you a fast song, but if we let my dad start, that's, that's never going to happen. That's as fast as it goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it goes faster than that. It doesn't go faster than that. It's as fast as it goes. It's faster earlier, but that's okay. <laughs> you guys weren't there. This next song, um, actually this song was written at a conference that my father and I were, were lucky to participate in back in 2014. Um, and this is actually the last time that we saw Teresia at this conference, this gathering of people from across the Pacific, uh, from you know, these places that the colonizers call Melanesia, Micronesia. Um, there were actually very few Polynesians there, which made it a pretty nice time, actually. Um, and we were there organizing under a really simple principle, one sawada. And so we go, we don't know what that means. We go, like, we're here for one soul water. What does it mean? And someone has to sit us down, this very kind Fijian man. He's like, one soul water, one salt water, stupid. And then smacks you on the back of the head. <laughs> so this song is a really simple song. It was written by my father um, because the, the hope is that you hear the song once and then you can sing along. We're not going to sing it twice, but listen to the song, commit it to your na'o, but more than that, commit what it is asking you to pay attention to, to your na'o, right? We are of one salt water. Um, that's really what ea means too, right? What the point, what's the point of independence if we sever all our pilina with those who make us most of who we are? It's really a folk song, so you can learn it really quickly. Once I had a memory that was long. Once I had a garden, now it's gone. Once a while I believe your song. Once a while I caught a fish within my net Once I knew what I could not forget Once a while you will lead us yet Once a while Once a while Children will return their lives to me. Now, gracious see, once a while. Once I saw the morning star at dawn. Once I saw their army sailing home. West Papua, you are not alone. Once a while, once a while, our children will return their lives to thee. Thou gracious sea, once a while.
Once I saw the morning star at dawn Once I had a God and now it's gone Once what a I believe your song Once a what a Okay, we actually thought we had two songs. <laughs> so we're gonna play them. Um, so shame. I know. <laughs> we're like ready to cut songs. He's like, nope. I, I tell I'm you old. what, no. It's, it's He's a, like, I'm a cool to half these people. It's a saying. long drive back to Ahiwa. <laughs> if we don't play this song. Uh, when Haunani K passed uh, the next day, I started to write this song, and, um, and actually it started as a song, I was thinking about my mother, who passed away in 1999, and thinking about whether or not her children, her boys, had grown up to be the, the men she wanted us to be. And then it became about Helen K. it couldn't help but be about her. And I think about, about the women in this movement who have given their lives every single ounce of themselves and all of the risks that they have taken to be a part of this struggle and the way that they have moved us men along. And I can't really explain it in words except for this song. So we want to honor Lynette, Auntie Marion, Hamnani Kay, Teresia, all of these women together, we hold them in this song, and it's, um, do you remember, do you remember what Haunani Kay said? Do you remember what she said? Say it. We are not Americans. We are not Americans. We are not Americans. Would you say we become what our mothers would hope for their sons and the ones we were sent to care for? All the hopes and the fears that we thought we could bear, did we hear in her sighs all the lives that lay ahead? What she said, what she said. Would you say we had gleaned what this daughter had gleaned from the lies and the sins of the world that came down? And believe in the songs they conceive for the gods and the seas from before the world was bred. What she said, what she said.
say we are done with the fire that burned to the ones that had spurned all the ease and grace of lives that were earned as our backs they were turned from the sound of our grandmother's voice raised from the dead what she said what she said There to me now, she's at rest And it's we now, in the crest of the way that she left What would you say? To our daughters today Who have fought to be more Than our narrow visions Who are you? Who are we? Do her words make us free When she spoke with the fire That burned away these chains When she said what she said There to me now She's at rest And it's we now In the crest of the way That she led For our dear native daughter Big round of applause, we cannot let this Ohana go home all the way back to where he Thank you so much. <laughs> so this is another original tune, uh, one that we were lucky enough to work with uh, Sean on uh, a couple years back. And this song kind of wrote itself, but at the heart of it, it's really just about moving forward, drinking of the bitter waters. And even if it's unlikely that you'll see the end of the struggle, keep moving forward. Dollars march Stepping down to the pain of this lonely march Drink of the bitter water's drink For what's all that's left of these clouds they'll sing
sand And off upon the sand With hidden sails where you shall carry them The winds focus trial down true Rising loud is all that's left on Sun, oh sun, lead me home Moon and star, let me smell now Na kamo ke kua hiwi, na liko ke kua lomo, o ha o ke awa na pua ke kahawai, na hi i kua ke kua mo o, e ku ke i aina kako, e ola Hawaii inu ya ke, Hawaii inu, Hawaii iki, Hawaii loa, Hawaii poko, Hawaii luna, Hawaii lalo, i loko kumo ana nui o kana loa, e ola no, yeah. And as the dust sails upon the road. Tracks and trials, soldiers will find themselves. Tired and restless souls. These home bound souls. Mauliola, Eola Hoi, O Mauliola, Eola ya Oetani to Melono, Oya, Hoya, Eola, Ah, Cabele Anea O Kuapao, Aloha Nui, A Oane, O Kalekoa Kaeo, A Hekiki Papa no Ino Kamoko Puni, O Maui, A Eno Wau, Ke Olelo Akune Oko, my Kaina Koopo Kukuna, Mahamoa name, Nolila, Belina. I like to again thank Imai and the whole support gang for holding on and holding tight during these tough times to keeping La Hoi'i'ia alive, well and strong. Our re-education is the key to our future, our liberation as a people. And so when you look at the ideas that follow, of course, this idea of La Hoi'i'ia, ea, ea o ka'aina, ua mau ke ea o ka'aina, ea o ka'aina, Ea, to rise up, sovereignty, independence, oka aina, and that gives us the lesson, mai na kupuna mai, in our Hawaiian thinking, really what is most valuable, really what sovereignty, independence is all about. It's about our people living upon our own lands, our own lands, determining for our own selves the future of the generations to come upon our own lands. So we talk our words today like aloha aina. As I 
teach my students, if it's not about housing and feeding and protecting the people, our own people are upon our own lands, it's not Aloha Aina. Aloha Aina and um, gated communities, they don't get along. Aloha Aina and continued diversions of our streams and waters, they're not a pair. Aloha Aina and the continued use of pesticides and insecticides and the poisoning of our Aina is not Aloha Aina. The crazy land speculation that is going on today with the inundation of hordes of tourists that are coming into places like Maui is not Aloha Aina. That is exploitation by the powers to be who are benefiting on our pain. So we think about the future for our children and the generations to come. It is this generation and it's you, my younger brothers and sisters, who must carry this kuleana forward to organize, to speak out, air, to rise up and do whatever is necessary so that we can continue Ho'omau to live upon our ancestral lands. Because, as I also say, it's not just about returning the lands to us that's important. But as important is about us returning to the land. Returning to the land here and here and physically upon our own lands. There is a huge battle that is ongoing right now. Which is at the expense of our families who are slow and quite quickly at this point moved off and out of Hawaii the physical removal of our people may not be through the gun but it's definitely through the economics it is definitely uh, you know because of the land speculation that is occurring on places like Maui and through these islands so what can we do? Cry? Stay silent? Hide in the corner? I think not. I think we all know what we must do, which is to do by any means necessary, whatever it takes to protect our people, to remain upon our own lands. And it's gonna take commitment. It's gonna take re-education it's going to take organizing and it's going to take unity the unification understanding can only happen through struggle i repeat the unification of our people will only happen to struggle the so-called oppressor will never give us the instrument or the key or the pathway for us to relieve ourselves of this oppression. The answers to end this oppression can only come from us, can only come from our cultural view of this world, our cultural integrity. Ea, oka aina. It's not about what kind of sums of money we may get from Washington DC. It's not a benefit package that may come from the state of Hawaii. It comes from the struggle to keep our people upon our own lands, to thrive upon our own lands. But we come from a fine stock. We come from people who are creative, who are innovative, and who are adaptive to whatever situation. So although it's hard right now in this COVID period to organize, to do what is necessary, we also understand we have no choice. We must struggle. We must struggle. We must struggle. Imuakako, a inuekawai, ava ava, a ohehope, e hoiakuai. Aloha nuikako, aloha aina.